I sat down with the chairman uh, of the board and he said, well, we've got 68 employees. We can afford five, you know, go fi find the five of the 68 that we that could be the core group. And um, and it, ironically and coincidentally um, correlated the people that played collision sports. It's just like the, you know, the sort of people that if you ask them to do the impossible, they wouldn't bring out the regression analysis to tell you that the probability was very low that it would be successful. They just go like, fine, you, you want me to, you know, run into walls. OK, uh, where's the wall? So th those, would, you know, got the team down to that, uh, went out to meet with the venture capitalists and, you know, how the herd mentality and the pendulum swings. When we went to meet with the venture capitalists, we had a we had a term sheet. Um you know, before I started, I saw that term sheet. That term sheet was, I believe it was uh, two tranches of $10 million. It was five foot yeah. 15. It was a, it was a, a $20 million commitment with the 5 million down, hit some metrics, come on back and get the other 15. So we had hit the metrics and we got in the car, drove out to uh, Long Island, sat down with the venture capitalist. They'd asked us to bring the term sheet, the original term sheet. We brought it. They said, okay, put the term sheet on the table. We'd like to discuss it. We put the term sheet on the table. They took the term sheet and they ripped it up in front of us. And they, yeah. said, they said, you're not getting the $15 million. We know we're contractually obligated to do that, but we're not going to give it to you. And so you have two options. You can sue us and you will never raise money ever again in your entire careers because you'll be known amongst the venture community as having sued the venture capitalists or... Go back to your office and figure out how to bootstrap your way through this. 